Tinasi, you my hero. C'est le son du jeu. Welcome back, Canes fam, to another film review. Always nice to get in a good addition to the great wall of Mirabal. Uh, offensive tackle who's 6'7", 280 pounds. It can move. Sounds like a great addition to me. And uh, he's a four-star here on Rivals. Uh, you know, a couple of recruiting staffs have him where they have him. But, um, you know, his offers are there uh, and the developmental tools are there. And we all know we can't trust uh, – we can all trust, excuse me, Coach Mario and Coach Mirabal's uh, ability to do so. Here he is at right tackle. This is what they can see. He's 6'7", 280 pounds. One that's gargantuan, 6'7". Forget the pounds. They're going to put weight on him when he gets here. Uh, he's going to put weight on himself. Look at this. He going he pulling, right? It's like he dead leg through that hole. He's so nimble through it. <laughs> dead leg through that bit and then hops through. Man, that, that's impressive movement right there for somebody his size. So he can get on the move. He has power. We're about to see that. But I think his ability to move and get out of his stance is what they're loving, right? I just I, I just have to think that, you know, this his ability to do things just like this is what was what has him so high uh, on the board here because right tackle, again, he's going to have a tight end behind him. He's never going to catch up to him. This is to block, a, you know, a number two defender in space and drive him 10 yards down the field uh, for that running back to have that cut. So, again, this is what it is, 6'7", 280 pounds. He could move. He could block on the move. This is somebody who's going to probably be pinning and pulling, doing a lot of different things. Uh, this is, to me, screams, hey, this guy has our traits. This is what we want our offensive line to look like, 6'7", 300-plus pounds when we go off the bus. This is that type of move. He's going to have a second-level defender here, so obviously they're going to have the advantage in quickness. This guy is 6'7", 280. And this is a you know probably a guy under 200 pounds, so he should be able to beat him with quickness. But just look how he fires off that off the football, that first initial step. Just look at that kick step back, really rapid, really good feet, able to go ahead and recover and make sure that that edge rusher has no chance to get into his quarterback. Didn't even have to step up, rides all the way around. And so you look at the guy who could fire off the football to block and fire off the football to pull. Now you see the guy just go ahead and just get out of his stance to beat a guy who's probably 120 pounds lighter than him uh, to the angle. So that's what they're looking at here. This is someone you get into the program, you mold. The stars are coming. They're already there here on Rivals. But you get him into the program and the strength and conditioning and let them mold him for a year or two, man, that's going to look nice on the line. Just a mammoth who can do anything you want physically. Here he is now. He's going to be crashing down. He'll be taking out this tackle. Just immediately, as soon as he hits him, just look at look at the immediate impact. This guy's already falling off. This kid's firing off the ball this way. He's just going to get literally 180'd. Yeah, that's what that size gives you, the ability to fire off the football. All the developmental traits are here. The run blocking, pass blocking, uh, you know, getting on the move. This is someone you could, you know, have the offense that we're going to have. We have. Sometimes we have all these screens. Remember, 
our offensive linemen. They're leading the way. So if we're going to run all these screens, like I think we're going to run all these screens just because we have so much good athletes at receiver. Why wouldn't we? We need offensive linemen who could move and get to the second level. Again, how do you combat that, you know, that unsurmountable size difference? Try to put some speed on them. And again, firing off. Look at the feet. Rapid fire, rapid fire, rapid fire, able to mirror through. So this isn't a hold and tug because he beats him. He beats him. See this? He is literally leveled with him. Uh, so that's impressive athleticism. I had to put this play in because, damn, you just got maw, son, and you didn't make the tackle. So that's a hell of a play from the receiver. Uh, we're going to talk about my dog real one more time for that kick slot and get him out of that stance. But, yeah, you just got mossed. Uh, <laughs> Had to throw that shout out in. That's a nasty play. Shout out. Here he is again, man in the right tackle position. He's going to sneak right in between these two defensive linemen. That's what you do. You go in between the D tackle and the DN, and you get straight to that second level when you get in that outside sweep. Uh, well, it could be a pool action, but uh, it's pretty much an outside sweep or zone or whatever you want to call it. But it's clear and critical to this play that you seal off this backer. So you can leave this one-on-one -on -one with the nickel defender because this receiver is supposed to block this corner. Uh, so this is well played by here. So he's able to get to the second level, able to move, manipulate, and show his strength. I think this is a commitment that we took early, uh, like a Kinsler, and everybody was like, ah, you know, I know he was committed to Florida, but people were like, ah, they weren't really moved by it. Now you ask people about Kinsler in the program, you know, we, we think he has a chance to be a player here. So uh, I think this is one of those takes. You take him in early. The stars and the acolytes are going to come later, as they always do when they update our class rankings because we have great evals. This is another good eval. Let's go, Canes. You can't doubt Coach Mario or Coach Mirabal uh, when it comes to offensive line. You, you, you would look like an idiot. 